how would you like to see a Canon RF 11 to 24 f4 or even an 8 to 24 f4? Details coming up, but first I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. Keith at Northlight Images discovered two patent applications for some never before seen RF lenses. The RF 11 to 24 mm f4 L series and the RF 10 to 24 mm f4 also L series. Also included in the patent application is the 14 to 35 mm and the 15 to 35 mm. I know what you're thinking. I'm just repeating what Keith at Northlight Images has already said. There's nothing new here under the sun. Fair enough. But I think Keith has something more to say on the subject. So two patent applications from Canon US. Uh, these are applications, not actual patents. And remember, patents are not the same as products. They're just a set of ideas that may be used for products. Uh, so there's two ones. There's an 11 to 24, which looks pretty obviously a replacement for the EF 11 24. Nice lens, big chunky lens. I'm wondering what, you know, what benefits the new one could really bring. Um, it would need to be pretty good to, uh, you know, to replace an 1124. Uh, note in the patent though, that they're actually, because it's design ideas, there's actually quite a lot. So if you look in the patent, there's an 11 to 24 design, there's a 12 to 24 F4 design. There's also a 14, 35 and a 15 to 35 mil design. So it's all about the optics um, and how they're arranged and what you can produce with them. But they're all RF full frame lenses. Lenses. Now the other ones are interesting. It's a zoom fisheye. Now the zoom fisheye. This is the Canon 8/15 f/4L, which I do use quite a lot, almost always with software to change the projection geometry of the lens. But very nice lens. So we've got a zoom version uh, that goes to 24 mm. Uh, now at 8 mm, you'll get a circular image on a full frame sensor. Uh, you'll get a normal fisheye effect, so it's full frame fisheye on a crop sensor. 24 mil. I do wonder a bit what the use of having a fisheye lens at 24 mil. And the patent itself even includes an example that goes from 8 to 28. Now, software correction can easily fix these days um, any distortions at those longer focal lengths, so it would work as a normal lens. But um, 8 to 15, and I use this mostly in sort of 8. 10, 12 mil. Um, be interesting to see. I would have no obvious reason for replacing this. I don't have a problem with using a mount adapter, but um, obviously Canon want to bulk out the RF range. So there you go, two new patents or patent applications from Canon. Thanks a lot, Keith. That's very insightful. Before I get into the lens embodiments for these two patent applications for these two lenses, Keith wanted me to let you know that his focus these days isn't on rumors, it's on his photography and printer channel. His photography channel is all about printers and photography, photography equipment, cameras and lenses, the whole thing. And like the village mayor, Keith loves tilt shift lenses, so he's keeping an eye out for those as well. And now for the lens embodiments for the patent applications Keith discovered. The Canon 11 to 24 or the 11 to 28 F4L series USM has the following optical formula. It has a focal length of 11.33 millimeters to 23.3, an F number of 4.08, half angle view of 59.63 degrees to 42.88 degrees, and an image height of 21.64 millimeters. The Canon 8 to 24 millimeter F4 L series USM has very similar properties. We can see the F number is 4.08, and the image height is 21.64 but the other information is missing, the focal length, the half angle of view, as well as the entire lens length. And I'm wondering if these are not the same as the Canon 11-24 F4L series, as we can see the F number 4.08 and the image height are exactly the same. I'm super excited about these lens combinations, the 18-24, to the 12-24, to or even up to 28 millimeters as discovered in this patent application. I really enjoyed the 10-18 to millimeter, for Canon's EFS cameras. I had this on the 70D and I really loved it. But you see, when you put this on the Canon R5 with the adapter, you get that 1.6 times crop. So it's not really 10 to 18 millimeters anymore. It becomes more like, well, 16 millimeters to about 28 millimeters. To have native RF glass covering this range of eight to 24 millimeters or 12 to 28 millimeters is pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see these lenses coming out. However, 
These are patent applications. It doesn't mean we're actually going to see these lenses anytime soon or if at all, or maybe we're just going to see one of them. And I think that's what's most likely here. Instead of seeing possibly two or three variants of this, I think we're probably going to see something like a, a 10 to 28 millimeters or a, an 8 to 24 millimeters. We'll probably see just one of these lenses at f4. Which one would you like to see? Which focal length or formula would you like to see for these lenses? I'm pretty excited by them. Ah, pretty, pretty cool news for a Saturday morning. Did you enjoy seeing Keith on The Ordinary Filmmaker covering patent news? If so, visit his channel and subscribe and drop a comment asking him to come back and cover more lens embodiments. And if you like the latest camera news and rumors, go ahead and subscribe, but make sure you choose all notifications. By choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a video, you're going to get notified so you're up to date on the latest camera news and rumors. But that's it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. It's really sunny but cold here this morning. The heat actually kicked on. It's 61 degrees inside the house. We weren't expecting it to get so cold last night. And of course me, I left the windows open. Anyhow, so have yourself a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you again soon.